Habitat Social is making people aware of tools that they might not have realized existed and it also provides a single place where people can learn about our social media approach, some of the things you can do with it, and even just how to use them. A lot of these tools are open source technologies or are homegrown that we've created ourselves. And the benefit for that is we've customized all these different tools to interact with Telus the way we want. So for example, we just launched Habitat Photos and Habitat File Drop. What we did was we created a alpha release where we had a small subsection of users try out our first release of the tool give us a whole lot of feedback and tell us what features they like and dislike. And based on that, we fixed up both those tools and released it in a beta release to the rest of TELUS. People have demonstrated a huge ability to try new things, to use different ways to interact with their team members, and there's a large appetite for that. So we want to guide people through discover, participate, and lead. Find the tools, understand what they're for, and the value to you, then take the next step and participate and then lastly to lead others in the utilization of them. We really want to be relevant to people, so we want people to be able to share and engage, and we want it to be something that's really useful and provides an added value. So we don't, everybody can connect through email and communicator, but we're looking at what's that next step of engagement and finding information and connecting with team members. So we've created this really awesome space called Habitat Social, so you can really engage with anyone across the country internally in a safe and secure place. If I have a question and I've emailed my network or I've pinged people on Communicator and I still can't find the answer, I'll throw it out there on Buzz to anyone and I've always been able to have you know, another person on Buzz who's tracked down the person for me really quickly, faster than waiting for someone to check their email. I think the best thing to do is to first sign up and start. But just get an account and then find things that you're interested in. So I think the key is sign up, start listening and then you'll just want to start to engage as soon as you feel comfortable. I absolutely feel that we're leading in this space. I mean, not only in what we make available to everyone in the company, but our ability to create new tools, try them out, get feedback, and tailor them to our environment. So it's not just an off-the-shelf approach, it's how are our team members going to best be able to utilize these and help it grow into something that the whole enterprise can use.